What's up everyone? This is Tony with Journey Crypto. I hope you're all having a great day. In this video, we're gonna be talking about very important crypto news that has happened over the past 24 hours. I'm also gonna give you guys a crypto market update on the top 10 cryptos with Bitcoin uh, moving past $40,000 now. Um, so I will talk about what I'm bullish on and what I think is gonna happen over the next few days. So before we get started, I do appreciate if you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're so close to hitting 50,000 subscribers and this has been a huge goal of mine for the longest time. So I do appreciate you guys subscribing. And I will be launching a huge crypto giveaway this week when we do hit 50,000. And um, I will let you guys know more about that in the upcoming couple days. So subscribers can be entered in that. Also comment below and be aware there's a lot of scammers in the comments right now using my name and logo. So don't believe anyone in the comments uh, giving you a phone number or telling you to uh, contact their trusted trader. This is gonna be a scam. So I wanna quickly say thank you to everyone that's been watching my videos, liking, commenting, and subscribing, and sharing the videos as well. We've grown to new all-time highs. Yesterday, we got 1,800 new subscribers, which is an all-time high, growing very rapidly right now, and we're probably gonna hit 50,000 subscribers today, which has been a huge long-term goal of mine. So I do appreciate all of you guys that are helping promote the channel. Um, so I do have my uh, crypto membership pre-sale coming up, which is gonna be limited to the first 300 signups. This will give you a massive discount on your first year access to the membership site. It'll give you access to private groups before the membership site is even open, where you can talk to me and other uh, very established crypto traders. It's also gonna give you an exclusive NFT, which uh, should go up in value over time and some other perks as well. I will be announcing a uh, date and time for this sale in the upcoming couple days as well, along with that crypto giveaway I have coming up when we hit 50,000 subscribers, I will be launching this giveaway. So it should be sometime this week that I launch that and I will be ta uh, talking more about this giveaway in the upcoming couple days as well. Some huge crypto prizes um, that you guys definitely will wanna uh, participate in. So since this channel is growing so quickly, the spam comments are really getting out of hand right now. So I do wanna give you guys a warning because I've had multiple emails in the past couple days of people saying they got scammed from this thinking it's me. So here's a fake comment. Um, as you guys can see, when I comment on something, it'll have the gray background behind my name here. And the spam comments will not have that. So this is a spammer that's trying to scam you and he's giving you a phone number to contact and some fake name saying it's a trusted trader pretending to be me. So if you guys see these fake comments, please report them as, uh, as spam. So I have been deleting these as soon as I see them. I just spent two hours deleting these spam comments and a whole new wave of them got posted right after that. So it's really getting to be too much for me to manage to delete these uh, by myself. So you guys just really have to be careful and help me out in the comments and report these as spam when you do see them. I do appreciate that. I encourage you guys to uh, participate in the comments as well and talk to each other. Um, you guys can definitely help each other out in the comments as well. So jumping into the crypto markets, Bitcoin passed $40,000 this morning. I saw it at $40,500. Just insane. Bitcoin is looking to uh, leave all the altcoins behind. Ethereum, I think, will be testing $2,000 very soon and breaking its all-time high of $1,400. It's still up 63% on the seven day though, so this may take a week or so for things to even out. And then I do think Ethereum will be moving up very quickly. So why Bitcoin is moving up so quickly is because not only do we have uh, retail demand skyrocketing, we also have institutional demand skyrocketing at the same time. Companies are flooding in, buying up as much Bitcoin as possible. They're also starting to buy up Ethereum though. So I do think Ethereum will be the next one to really have a huge push. And I do think this next couple weeks, Ethereum will have higher return on investment than Bitcoin will. So Ethereum's only at $135 billion market cap, while Bitcoin's nearing in on $1 trillion market cap. Just insane. Since Bitcoin was only $20,000 a few weeks ago, keep in mind. So I do expect a uh, market correction to be coming for Bitcoin, which will drag down all the altcoins with it temporarily. But when we do see Bitcoin starting to dip like this, people will be pulling out of Bitcoin and buying altcoins also. So you will be seeing certain altcoins uh, pump parabolically if they have um, big news at that time. So just be very careful coming up. 
um, I know a lot of people are longing Ethereum and Bitcoin, but if you're doing this and there's a 20 to 30% dip, you're gonna get liquidated. And this is what these platforms want. They want everyone to be super bullish and go long on uh, these trades. This is why I don't like leverage trading because these platforms really manipulate their users and end up um, really just stealing all their cryptocurrency. So I'm still very bullish on Cardano ADA and I will be stacking more and more ADA as time goes on doing dollar cost averaging like I have been talking about in my videos. So I do think Cardano ADA will be the best performer out of the top 10 uh, by the end of March and that's because they have major network updates coming, uh, the launch of Gogan Mainnet as well as a lot of partnerships um, announcements will be coming and probably new listings as well. I expect Coinbase and PayPal to be listing Cardano ADA by mid 2021. So overall uh, for 2021, I'm doing dollar cost averaging on Cardano ADA and Sparkpoint SRK. Those are my two primary coins. Sparkpoint SRK saw 50x return on investment just from May of 2020. And my last video, if you guys didn't check that out, turning $1,000 into $1 million in the crypto space. You should definitely check that video out. And Cardano, I've already gotten 6X my investment just since uh, May as well. So just crazy those type of returns on investments. And both of these projects I think are extremely undervalued as well. I'm not trying to shill you guys. Um, I don't recommend you go out and buy it, but it is projects you should research and have on your radar. Of course, make your own financial decisions and uh, buy whatever you think is gonna be your best long-term investment. So of course, there's dozens of projects out here that are gonna do extremely well in 2021. Pretty much everything is gonna be going up in general, but what I look for is projects that have a good long-term vision and uh, they're gonna stay relevant in the crypto space and continue building utility for their coin as well. I think this is very important for the long term and that's how I like to invest is for the long term but I do uh, day trading um, a little bit as well but only with a small percent of my portfolio all right guys so jumping into the crypto markets apparently Bitcoin did touch $41,000 very briefly last night and continues to climb day after day touching new all-time highs this is why I am skeptical and think that a market correction could be coming. This has been normal during every bull market. There is um, small pullbacks and corrections, and then uh, the price of Bitcoin will continue to climb. So if you're holding the long term, you really don't have to worry about that. You just keep holding and over time, um, those dips will fade out and it won't matter. But if you are day trading, catching those type of dips can really make you a lot of profit. So if you are new to the crypto space, I recommend um, checking out my free cryptocurrency course for beginners, Cryptocurrency 101, buy, sell, and trade for beginners. Uh, lots of great information in here to get you started in the cryptocurrency space. This will el um, also help you avoid scams and avoid major mistakes where you can lose your cryptocurrency. Very useful information in here. I highly recommend going through this if you're new to the crypto space or send this to anyone that's new to the crypto space as well. It's 100% free. Other similar courses charge over $100 for this and are outdated. So I did make sure this was very relevant. I actually created this in the middle of summer in 2020. So it's still very relevant and has great information in here. So there will be a link to this in the video description on my Twitter. I also appreciate if you guys follow me on Twitter where you will find regular updates. I post on Twitter throughout the day. Uh, pretty much 10 posts per day or more. Uh, so you can get regular updates there on uh, news and stuff. I retweet important news and stuff and anything big going on in the crypto space as it happens. So as gold crashes, Jim Cramer says money is all going to crypto. So gold is at all time highs as well, passing $12 trillion market cap for gold alone. And the crypto space just barely passed 1 trillion global market cap. And that's for every cryptocurrency in the space combined is $1 trillion added up. So if you go out there and you uh, take every single coin and token out there and multiply it by its current price, add up all of that together, that's only $1 trillion right now, which is pretty ridiculous in my opinion, and is why I think we're still very early to the crypto space. Um, I did a video on this recently as well, why we're so early to the crypto space, and I did put a lot of data in that video and everything. So definitely check that out if you're skeptical on cryptocurrencies crashing soon. So if we um, have a similar effect to the last bull run, we should still see an 8 to 10x in global market cap from where we currently are. So where we are right now at the 1 trillion uh, global market cap, I think is very similar to mid 2017 here. 
where we did see the uh, crypto global market cap touch 100 billion for the first time and that would have been um over 5x from just previously in that year at the beginning of 2017 where it was around 15 billion and then a lot of people sold here and got out but those that did sell missed out on another 10x in market cap so buying into the right altcoins that have huge things coming you could get much uh, bigger profits than just 10x as well so don't think we're at the peak right now i do think we're going to continue growing throughout 2021 especially because we have uh, stimulus checks coming out and uh, coronavirus is really not getting any better yet and all the loans and everything they're doing, printing trillions of dollars. So in 2020, the United States printed 25% of USD in circulation, which is just insane. I do think we're headed into the highest rates of inflation over the next few years, which will boost the price of cryptos alone. And Paul Tudor Jones saw this early on. As soon as they started printing trillions of dollars, he got in on Bitcoin as a hedge against inflation. And he did state, Bitcoin will be the best hedge against inflation out there, and he's been correct so far. Lark Davis posted on Twitter here, uh, Bitcoin is up 350% since Paul Tudor Jones bought in May. So institutional demand is at an all-time high for cryptocurrencies, primarily Bitcoin and Ethereum, because it is a hedge against inflation. And without this inflation, um, I don't think cryptocurrencies would be doing as well as they are right now. This really was the catalyst for the massive bull run that we're going to be seeing over 2021. And as inflation plays out, cryptocurrencies will only increase over time. Uh, but keep in mind, there will be temporary dips here and there. So um, that's why I do recommend dollar cost averaging for those new to the crypto space, just to spread out your purchases and lower your average buy-in. So people have also been buying gold as a hedge against inflation, but it hasn't seen anywhere near the type of return on investment that Bitcoin and Ethereum and other cryptos have. So this article today, um, as gold crashes, Jim Cramer says money is all going to cryptocurrencies. Uh, this is massive here. So JP Morgan also stated a couple days ago that uh, Bitcoin could rise to 146,000 long term as it competes with gold. Another article just a few hours ago, Bitcoin's market capitalization is nearly 7% of gold according to one estimate. So gold is now over $10 trillion market cap alone. That's over 10 times the entire global cryptocurrency market cap combined with gold alone. So I definitely think a lot of investors are going to be selling gold to pick up some Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, which will even out over time. And this is a scenario where I do see Bitcoin passing $100,000 in 2021. I think it's very likely. So here's a price chart for gold. It actually peaked out on January 6 and is now dipping. Um, so a lot of this money is going to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as we see with Bitcoin touching new all-time highs pretty much every couple days here. And I do think Ethereum will be breaking its all-time high very soon as well. And uh, cryptos in general are going to start moving up. And I do think uh, hidden gems out there in the top 1,000 have huge potential uh, return on investment if you find the right cryptos at the right time. And I will talk more about hidden gems on the channel here. And I do have a video coming up as well on how I would uh, invest $1,000 into the crypto space and how i would diversify that if i was a new investor so another reason why i think ethereum will be going up a lot in the upcoming couple weeks and breaking its all-time high price of 1400 dollars is because google searches for ethereum are hitting its all-time high as we see here in google trends we can see the search is at its all-time high even higher than the peak of the last bull run where uh, ethereum did hit 1400 dollars so if this holds, we should be breaking that $1,400 here. So we're actually at an all-time high market cap for Ethereum since there's more um, Ethereum coins in circulation. And how that works is you multiply the circulating amount of coins by the current price of the coin, and that's how you get the current market cap. So because there's a lot more Ethereum in circulation, um, being at this current price, it's actually at its highest market cap, but I do think we will be breaking that all-time high very soon as well. So while I'm much more bullish on Cardano ADA for the mid to long term, I do think Ethereum will be having better profits in the short term. So as Ethereum climbs, if it does touch that $2,000 mark, I probably will be slowly transitioning from Ethereum to Cardano just to flip profits and get the highest potential return on investment, especially as Cardano is nearing the launch of the Gogan update. I think uh, that's gonna have a 
massive amount of attention and i do think ada will be breaking all-time highs around march if things keep going the way they are so i will be doing another video talking about ethereum and uh, what i think is going to be coming so ripple ceo actually answers some questions about the sec lawsuit and if you guys haven't heard about this the sec is suing the ripple company over the sale of xrp and that's what made it crash uh, xrp was actually over 60 cents earlier um, in the last couple weeks and has crashed drastically after the news of this lawsuit and it actually did recover after um, he posted um on twitter answering these questions it actually went up about 30 to 40 percent touching 35 cents even now correcting back um i'm very skeptical on xrp i would not be holding this right now once it gets closer to a conclusion for the lawsuit it might be better to buy in then because it could go up parabolically if the results from the lawsuit are good but in the short term i think there's much higher potential profits to be made on other top 10 cryptocurrencies so i'm really staying away from xrp right now but i don't think xrp is dead so more massive news for bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general pension funds are getting in on bitcoin according to grayscale this is just massive and i've been looking forward to this uh for quite some time i actually invested and an altcoin at the peak of the last bull run because they did say they were going to be doing pension fund rewards with their cryptocurrencies uh, but that crypto ended up being a scam and the partnership they said they had was completely fake so that's why you got to be careful with altcoins because they can just straight up lie and make stuff up just to get um, everyone bullish and people will just buy into certain altcoins uh, without even uh, doing the proper research so be very careful with new altcoins that are coming out. There's going to be more and more scam crypto altcoins uh, coming out during this bullish market because people are much less likely to do their proper research and everything when things are so bullish and uh, people are getting such quick profits on altcoins. People will just blindly invest into these altcoins because they don't want to miss quick profits. So another article here, Grayscale CEO says crypto interest is rising from pension um on coindesk so this is great news in general for cryptocurrencies i think in the long term this is going to have a massive uh, positive effect on the cryptocurrency space so last of the news for today backed may be going public through rumored two billion dollar merger um there is going to be a wave of cryptocurrency companies going public and selling stocks very soon so coinbase is going to be the first of these which i do think they're going to be doing this in quarter one um, i do think coinbase will be listing cardano ada after their ipo is done and uh, their stocks are out so i am pretty interested in this i personally haven't invested in any stocks because i think there's much higher potential in cryptocurrencies but now having stocks for cryptocurrency companies i think this is very interesting and i might put a small percent of my portfolio into these cryptocurrency company stocks as they start launching so don't think that you're too late to the crypto space because you missed out on bitcoin going from 20,000 to 40,000 there's always going to be opportunity out there with massive return on investment you just have to stay positive and do your uh, proper research don't just blindly invest into all coins because of one rumor so always do your proper research and there's great opportunities out there uh, continuing to come out every single day and if you guys subscribe to my channel i will be talking about these opportunities as they arise so i do appreciate you guys subscribing liking the video and commenting we're probably going to hit 50,000 subscribers today and i will be launching that crypto giveaway as well as my crypto membership site coming up as well which will go live in the next couple months and i will be doing that pre-sale here probably in a week or so so i will let you guys know more about that in the upcoming couple days as well again i appreciate all of you sharing liking and commenting on the video it's really helped the channel grow and allows me to do this more full time and i could uh, put more time into creating content for this so thank you guys again for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next video